All right, I got a great comic here for a candidate for a clean and maybe humidifying press. This is a Heroes for Hope, number one, starring X-Men. It's the only X-Men that Alan Moore ever wrote, and he only wrote three pages of it. So it's also got a, a bunch of people that worked on it. It's a cool book, but we can clean this thing up. Uh, there's going to be some stuff that we can't do a whole lot about. These things are not super easy to get out. Let's go around the book, this, these sides over, over here. You can see there's some indentations there. All along this top. We can whiten most of the white. We can get that a little cleaner. So it'll present a little better. And there's something going on right here. Looks like I had a sticker on it or something. Maybe I'm not super sure. This isn't a super valuable book, so a lot of people wouldn't clean a book like this, but I like this book. So that's what I'm gonna do. There's some spine takes. We won't be able to get the color breaking ones. We'll have the color broken. There's nothing we can do about that. And then that's got some dirt on it. So I'll also have to see if I can fi fix this corner a little better than it is. There's not much I can do, but there's quite a bit, but I don't know. Uh, that's like a 50 50 thing with me at my skills right now. Let's look at the back. <clears throat> Not a lot of white. <laughs> big crease here. This is a big bad crease. We can get that out. Go on the edges. And fix that corner a little bit. So. That. So. Back, it does not look that bad. It's, let's get this one thing, let's see if I can get the light on it. Right there, see? Just too dingy. Let's say, get it there. And that corner's not in the best shape. The top corner's not in the best shape. But like I said, uh, this is not a super valuable book, but it's, you know, probably the most valuable book that I've tried to clean and press at this point. So that's what the book looks like. Wow, get going. So what I'm gonna start with is these uh, little uh, cleaning pads there. Equate BD Premium Cotton Rounds. Uh, I got this kneading eraser. This is pretty good, and uh, you know, after I clean the stuff, I kind of you can roll it around. Uh, these are the erasers I use. Sometimes I'll use those ones that go on the ends of uh, pencils, and I've got one. I'm, I just didn't bring it out for this because really, this one's not gonna. I don't know. I might use it to get in to here, but this has a lot of open white, so. We'll get started on that. First thing I do is I take one of these and we just go in circles. I'm not putting a ton of pressure. But we'll start doing that. I ain't gonna tell you the whole process, but uh, you start doing that. Once that's done, then we'll get these erasers out and we'll just kind of go like real light in one direction, over and over, real light. And uh, we'll, we'll, I'll show you what the book looks like after I've, I've cleaned it, and we'll come back. So. All right, so I've cleaned up this little space that was here. A lot of that just came off just by using this. Uh, it seems there's something, a little bit of something on Storm's face there. I gotta, I gotta get off a little, and then a little bit on Colossus, so I'm not done, but that cleaned up. That was definitely some sticker residue. It came off pretty good. It's still kind of there, so I still got some scrubbing, but that already looks better. Over here, we've got the same thing. So you, I can feel it with my finger. There's a little bit of sticker residue there. I gotta get that off. You just keep rubbing with these little pads. You don't put any chemicals on there. You just rub and right up here is part of it. Here and here. And I'll try to get some of that, so. Okay, so now you can tell that I've cleaned a lot of that off. So there's a little spot left on that 
on the bottom part of the E. I've rubbed and rubbed. That ain't coming off, so that's just going to be there. But all this cleaned up a lot nicer, all this up here. Um, it just took a lot of scrubbing, so now I'm going to do the rest of the book. You can tell how much dirt. That's just the the dirt that came off of there in it. So I got several of these, so I'll show you. So that's three of those that I used and you can see how much dirt and crap came off. Uh, that was some kind of sticky residue, like a sticker somebody put on this book. Uh, probably a little cell sticker or something, one of those. They probably threw it in a bin. Well, this isn't, it's got some like little things on it, but try to catch and light all the defects. There's a lot down there we gotta go. I gotta clean that. So you can see that yellow stain next to his foot. There's something there. I gotta clean all this up. So I've still got a long way to go, but yeah, I wanted to show you that that cleaned up pretty good and we still got that corner over there cleaned up pretty good. So I'm gonna stay on the rest of the book. I got this all cleaned up as good as I can. It uh, cleaned up really nice. There's still some, I oh, can hear some thunder in the background. It's nice here. So that cleaned up really good. I've already got all the white spots that I can get. There's this little thing I thought I could get out with this eraser here, but it's not coming. So I'll just keep gonna leave it like that. But a lot of this did come off really good. The one thing I don't have that I have to get is a tack iron so I can get all these out. I mean, the press will get some of them out, but a tack iron, you can get all those out. Uh, so that's the one thing I don't have. Fixing this corner would be a lot easier with a tack iron. So, in fact, I'm gonna hit this corner a little more with this eraser before I'm done. But for the most part, I couldn't get that stain out. I hit it as hard as I could. But the rest of it turned out pretty good. I'm gonna try to get, you see how the little bit of color stuff there, I can probably hit a little harder. So before I go to the, uh, humidifying chamber there was not much i could do with the back but i did uh, this was just on the back so there's a lot of dirt that came off the back just from you know just doing that over and over and over and over uh, so got that as as good as i could so yeah uh i'll clean the, the rest of this front and then we'll i'll show you how to do the hydration chamber uh, i did end up using um, pretty much everything over here had my little that's from the, um, the kneading eraser I didn't use this I don't like to use this unless I have to um, this is one of those Mr. Clean Magic erasers uh, I didn't use that it's the only thing over here I didn't mainly I used this so all right all right, now we're going to do the humidifying chamber, or how do you say that? Pretty, pretty simple to do. Uh, you want to get a pretty sturdy little tub like this. I like the, this is a company called Sterilite. It's got the, uh, the kind of lock stuff all the way around it to kind of hold the, the moisture in and then click it. You're going to want distilled water. I just pour like about a quarter of this in there. About like that. Yeah, maybe a little more. That, about that much, just to where there's about an inch of water in the bottom of this thing. Set that there, and then I just use, this is just a regular top loader, comic book top loader. Set that there, and then Magazine backer board. Put that there. And another magazine backer board. So there's two all together. Set that like that. Get that centered right there. And that will be able to humidify that book. Put the top on. Side, 
Then the last thing I do is I've got this thing. This is an old railroad tie or railroad thing. It, it weighs about 20 pounds. Uh, and then I set that on top because it won't damage the, the thing, but it's, I just kind of put it on like that and uh, it just sells it in there. Now you'll test this in about, uh, you can already see some of the, uh, the, the things from the splash, but this will get on the sides up here too. That, that's from the splash, but it'll look like that even in a little bit after those strain down because it's, it's working. Leave it on there for about four, five, you just kind of got to give it some time, about four or five hours. Uh, depends on the book. This one I'm going to leave in there for probably five, five hours or so, and then we'll hit the press. Okay, it's been about five hours since we put it in this chamber here. So we're going to take this off. And open her on up. So you can see all this isn't the splash anymore. That's actual condensation. So it's getting some... Uh, Yeah, here. So. All right, so we got some moisture to the book. Now we take it off of here. And we're going to take it over to our press. I have uh, my lovely assistant Miranda hold the phone. Okay. So now what we want, let me set that there for a second, is I have this on 150, some people say 130 for the books you've done it, so I'm going to show you how I do this. I got these two pieces of metal, they're pretty thick, they're not wobbly like, like some of them, and uh, I'll cut that here. This is gonna heat up the top and bottom when we use these plates. Parchment paper, this is fresh. This is a brand new parchment paper. This is non-stick. That's what you want. And then this is magazine backer board size, but it's actually a little more flimsy, but you can actually use regular magazine backer board. It doesn't matter. Lay that right there. I'm going to take the comic, and the first thing we're going to do is open to the center floor. You'll know the center floor because you'll be able to see the staples. So we can see the staples there. That's the center fold. That's what we want. And then, in there. And then we just take regular backer board. Uh, I'm not gonna use that one because that one has a piece of dirt on it or something. Okay, so whatever you have on these, that's gonna come through in the comics. So you don't want any dirt or not. Stick it right there. Make sure there's stuff at the top and bottom. Fold that over. Now we're gonna take this. It's like I think it's 67 pound paper. That's what this is? It's cardstock. Pretty, pretty thick. I'm gonna put it here under the front cover, and we're gonna do the same thing to the back cover. So you want to check, make sure you got a clean thing. I'm gonna open this up. Just slide it right there. Now we want that snug. We want to, you know, don't be forceful with it, but you want to make sure that that's snug. And so kind of keep in mind that like this is now going to be out. Everything's going to be the way that it should be now. Now, I always do the first one face, face down or face up. But once you got these things that I used to, if you don't have these, you need to flip it. But since you got these metal ones, it heats the top and the bottom. It saves you some time. Stick that right there. Get it all armed up like you want it. Make sure it's 
sure nothing's shifted. We're good. And take one more of these. And stick it over the top. Make sure that's got something on there. You got a clean one and put that on top. This is our sandwich. One more piece of parchment paper. Brand new. And to complete our sandwich, to put this last piece of metal here. No, that's where we want it. Not to loosen the support. We're not forcing the book down. It's just kind of holding it in place. You don't need a lot of pressure, but that's not what you want. That only hurts staples. That doesn't help you, it hurts you. So just a snug little press like that. And then we'll come back in 12 hours <laughs> and we'll look at it from there. Just to be clear, I don't leave this on here for that long. Uh, I'll leave it on for about 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes, and then turn it off, and then come back 12 hours later. So you don't leave this heat on for, for that long. I just want to make sure that I cleared that up. All right, so we've uh, done the whole wait thing. Uh, I did flip this comic over and let it sit longer. I heated it again, but we are ready to check it out. flipped it, I turned it around. Looks pretty good. Let's get this under the light where we can really see it. Uh, hold on one second. Move this over here. So, yeah. We'll take a good look at it. Let's see. this out and set it on there so we've got something to kind of look at here. And we'll see how much better this book looks now. And, uh, this was just one press. Uh, I could probably do another one. Because there's a lot of stuff that got cleaned up for sure. Trying to catch the light on it, because that's when you can really... That's still not that great. Just the color on this is not... This looks so much dirt. I tried so hard to get that off. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, this corner is still pretty bad. It sits real flat. It sits pretty good. I could get that with a uh, tack iron. I need to get a tack iron to get these. That one, and that one, and that one, and that one a tack iron would get. I don't think there's much I can do about that stain up there, but that crease should press out. If I did this again, it would probably press out. But I'm trying to run over all the white so you can see. This is a pretty clean book now. There's still a thing on her cheek. I guess that's an indention or something. See what I mean? Uh, I might scrub on that a little more and see if I can get that. This probably needs another press because it didn't really do all this. It didn't go away like I wanted to. And that 
corner still. I mean, it's flat now, but you know, I think I could make that look a little better. Uh, there's some stuff you could do with a, a pinball, a large ball bearing and some stuff to get stuff like that out. Uh, I had to probably do that. But yeah, it still, still turned out good. <sighs> Blood on you, sorry. But yeah, way nicer than it was for sure. That press helped. But it, it could probably use another press. I pointed that stuff out, that's that flattened out. There's not much I can do about it. This corner is what's going to hurt the grade the most, though. It's right around there. And then I got to get a tack iron, and then just that dirt bothers me. Because that's after I scrubbed it and cleaned it for a good while. So that's just, it's there. It actually looks worse on the phone on my camera than it does in real life. But still. I mean, when you hold like that, you can't really see it. But you get real close with that light on it, you can see it pretty good. But that's still. Nice, nice, good, clean comic now. Still, still be proud to have that one in my collection. Still, the colors look really good, shows off really good. All right, yeah. You can kind of see where I cleaned and where I didn't really want to get close to the color you can see that not the end of the world but I never did get between his arms you can see this a little darker so there's still some work to be done on this book I'm not, I'm not done with it yet uh, now I'm seeing stuff I could have could have done better so we'll, we'll get back to this let's check the back of the book out Yeah, see, it's nice and good, too. So, press makes it look all uniform. There's no more wavy lines. There's those two little things there. Can't do much about that. That corner's not too bad. That's, that's all right. That's there. Nothing can do about that. Tack iron would get all these out. A little bit of dirt. I can clean that a little more. Yeah, probably gonna give this one another once over. I mean, why not? We're here. Uh, but yeah, you can still see this. You know, the press really helps this book for sure. Made it look pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm happy, but I'm not satisfied. I'm, I'm content with the way it is now. I mean, I, I got this for a dollar it's not like a super valuable book so i'm probably not gonna spend like a crazy amount of time but i do like the book and have it in my collection and i'm still learning how to clean and uh press books at this point so yeah we'll, we'll come back to this one and uh but for now we're gonna put it set aside i'm just gonna put it in a back and board right now and be done with it for now but i will come back and clean this one later